Luke's Donuts, West uh, Avon. So there you go. It's all set. Ali and the gang there. Alden Davis is here. That's how I know Alden's here because they're donuts. <laughs> Uh, you know. right. Alden Davis uh, does a lot of consulting uh, worldwide, actually. He spent time in China. He spent time uh, yeah. where else? Bolivia? Well, and- no. <laughs> <laughs> been to Venezuela lately? No, no. Farther south was uh, Porto Alegro, Brazil. So you're getting this for free. You see what I'm saying? This guy Good goes stuff. in. Yeah, he does all that stuff. Yeah. Anyway, Alden Davis is here, so it's time for our Saturday morning coaching. And let us begin. Well, Saturday morning coaching yeah. is going to explore winning attributes. Yep, 10 things oh, you God. can do right now to make yourself more valuable. Coach is giving it to you straight because I want you to be wildly successful. Means and that. in this market, that means keeping your job. <laughs> oh, nice. Here, after more weather and sports as we enter the no piker zone. No piker zone. <laughs> oh, okay then. It's seven fifteen. It's seven twenty on WTIC. So look in the mirror. Take a look at yourself this morning. Looks pretty good, but it could be better. <laughs> so, <laughs> and that's the outside. That's yeah. external. What we're talking about is internal. <laughs> what lies within. That's the important thing. Yes. So here's Alden Davis to uh, straighten you out and build you up. That's kind of the way this works. What do you have? Man, oh, man, oh, man. Here we are again after another tough week out there. The economic news continues to be challenging. And with the oil price wars, ripples of job insecurity are spreading. But, hey, just like in 2008, someone's going to be working. Why not you? Yeah. Welcome to Star Power, our Saturday morning coaching to thrive in uncertain times. This is the no piker zone. You know what a piker is? Yeah, it's me. someone who is not committed. It's a gambler placing small bets. Star power is not for pikers. Are you a piker? Let's do a little test. Okay. A piker is more interested in self-interest than the companies or customers. Facebooking from work, loading your Pinterest page at work, talking to your sister all the time from work. Piker. <laughs> <laughs> Not interested in learning anything about the business? Yeah, Piker? Yeah. Counting the days to vacation and how much time you get this year? 23. Do you have a spreadsheet for sick days so that you maximize time away from work without getting a turkey slip? Ooh. Which Herb Swanson kindly explained to me was the name given to the attendance slip because I was the turkey handing it out. Oh. If your goal is to not be at work, Piker, not interested in growing and learning skills one up and one down from your job, Piker, doing just the minimum required to keep out of sight, Piker, you can be super talented but not retain because of these undesirable attributes. Coach hopes you all failed the Piker test. I want winning attributes, Coach. <laughs> What's going to give me the competitive edge? Yeah. What's going to set me apart from the others? Winning attributes, that's what. <clears throat> These attributes are compliments of son Stefan who found them on a gym poster. The good news is that they are there for the taking. No practice, no cost. But you need to pay the price. You must decide to do them. You need to be a winner. You need to be the person selected. It's all about your daily decisions. First on the list, be on time. Being on time shows me that you're dependable, predictable, can manage life's problems, and that you care. Hey, Ray, what yeah. time do you uh, go live in the mornings? Uh, how do I go live? Yeah, what time do you go live on the station? Oh, 5.30. Yeah, is there More another uh, Ray Man Nine. in the wings when you partied too much the night before? Well, no. In your profession, is being on time an important attribute? Yeah. What time do people expect the 8 o'clock news to start? 8 o'clock. Being on time is a way of showing respect to the people around you and the customer. Next, have a work ethic. Oh, no. What? Note the word work is in there. Oh, God. Work is what you're being paid yeah. to do. Work ethic means you are giving it your all whether the boss is watching or not. You do the job proficiently. You're not dogging it. Let me set the record straight for anyone who is classified as salary exempt. These are non-hourly workers who apply critical thinking skills to their jobs. You may know them as white-collar professionals. Mm. You are expected to do what it takes to get your work done, regardless of how many hours it takes. Did you hear me? Just because you stayed two hours extra last night, yeah. don't come to me expecting to take two hours off today. Uh, oh. You want that kind of structure? Get an assembly job. 40 hours is a rough rule of thumb. You start counting hours, you're worthless to me. You're a piker. You have no commitment to the work, the company, or your craft. 
You do what it takes to get the job done. Have to miss date night? Tough. Can't go bowling because you have to finish a report? So sad. Only got five hours sleep last night because you had to cover second shift? Let me get my violin. <laughs> Does anyone no. in professional sports excel on just 40 hours practice per week? No. Work ethic sets you apart from the crowd. And, Ray, I see more and more people coming into the workforce who don't want to work. And they definitely don't want to do what it takes to get the job done at the expense of their personal time. Choose to develop your work ethic. Hand in glove with work ethic is effort. Let me tell you about Jeff Brooks. Years ago, I was getting ready to lead a big Kaizen event where Jeff worked. I described what was needed, and Jeff looked me in the eyes and said, Got you covered. Consider it done. And it was. Jeff is not only a man of his word, he does what it takes to get the job done. To this day, Jeff's reputation is firm with me. If I ever went into battle, I want to be with someone like Jeff. How about body language? How much does it cost you to look halfway interested in what we must do? Could you sit up? Can you smile? Can you look attentive? Can you have a posture of action? Back when I was a young pup working in the armor shop, I got to lead improvement discussions with all the welders and plasma operators. In came a group of men all wearing their welding gear and dark green glasses. They would line up against the back wall, rock back on their chairs, cross their arms, and look at me as if to say, Go ahead, kid. <laughs> Just try day. to make us talk. Make my day. <laughs> it was painful and designed to intimidate. What does your body language say? Got your coat on your arm at 445 waiting to dash for the door? Mm -hmm. Give me a break. Yeah. Give your boss, give the customer body language that says you care. Here's another attribute. How about being coachable? Look at your 5 to Thrive card you printed off at MyValueTree.com. Last one says, I stay relevant by learning and changing. To be coachable, you've got to check your ego at the door. You can't be a know-it-all. There is so much more to learn. Recently, I got to work with a guy who renegotiates debt with big lending institutions for private equity groups. Right. Man, it's a whole new world that I had never seen before. Stay coachable and stay in the game. For good measure, you can throw in a healthy dose of energy, attitude, passion, doing extra, and being prepared. All 10 of these are winning attributes that you can have today to be a survivor yeah. in these challenging times. Just make the choice. These are our days. I'm Coach Davis. Indeed you are. You're right, though. That is a little intimidating. I've, I've heard stories because Alden goes like to various companies and... Sometimes there's resistance. <laughs> sometimes, Not winning sometimes, attitudes. Sometimes. <laughs> Doesn't matter. We're protected. We're union. <laughs> Do what we want. No, but you just, they'll sit there and they'll go, yeah, you know, come on, Joey. It's, it's, it's a problem. Make me do something. And I must say that at times, you know, I'm kind of inclined oh. to be that way. Right now, <laughs> no. I have my arms folded at this very moment. And I'm not, <laughs> right now, my arms are not folded. Not included body language, yeah. Come on, make your, yeah. Oh, God. Uh, yeah.